Corn is probably our biggest fertilizer usage user of all the crops we grow. So, you know, that, that really weighed on our producers' minds about, okay, I, I, good corn prices, I want to plant corn, I like the rotation. Boy, this fertilizer price, I, I got to get some good yield to, to counterbalance that, that extra, extra expense there. Our planning intentions, the report come out into March, uh, thought we'd plant about 750,000 acres. And that was off about 100,000 from a year ago. So a year ago we had about 850,000, so we're expecting maybe 750 this year. And I, I felt like that, uh, that drop in acres was probably all related to fertilizer price. And so, you know, we felt like we might be off a little bit in some areas. But, you know, when it comes down to reality, uh, weather dictates a lot of things, right? And so I know we, we had a wet, wet period in there, probably in the ideal planting time. And so we ended up getting a lot of corn planted that end of April, early May, which is later than what, what a lot of people like to plant. So, you know, that later planted, we probably switched some of those corn acres back to maybe cotton or soybeans. But uh, I think in the end, we got pretty close to what we normally, or we, what we intended for a lot of folks. Now, cer certain areas, we probably didn't get there, but a lot of areas, we, we get, got up to where we really felt like we wanted to be at. Right now, into June, I mean, it's, it's almost 90 degrees out here in the morning, right? It's, it's hot, and so that, that's probably the biggest issue we're facing right now. I mean, uh, corn, a lot of our corn, is it uh, silked last week or beginning of silking or will be silking coming up here shortly? So, you know, silking, tasseling is a pretty critical time. And so in some instances in past years, we've had some pollination issues. And so that we always see or typically see pollination issues where we get high, high temperatures combined with lack of water. And, you know, we've got that right now. So if you drive around the countryside, you see every well running. And so, you know, from a management standpoint, trying to keep everything irrigated up is really the key. And so, you know, corn, uh, you know, like us, we don't like that 98 degree temperature, do we? Well, you know, one way that we can balance, counterbalance some of those effects is to uh, keep everything watered. And so, you know, typically in the past, if we're able to keep things watered, uh, we're still able to get good pollination, even though the temperatures are really high. You know, a rain, you know, with the proverbial million dollar rain, well, I, I think that's probably cutting it short. <laughs> you know, maybe a hundred million dollar rain, you know, the, you know, lot, every well's running, a five dollar diesel or, what, you know, what, whatever they they got to book for is, it, it's expensive. And so a rain right now, you know, late June, I mean, we're at peak water demand on corn, you know, typically a week or two prior to tassel, week or two after tassel that month time frame in there we're really we're at we're, we're at peak water demand and so yeah any way we could shut those wells off for a few days would, would go a long ways